channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we are going to discuss the difference between Cambridge Physics and Adaxel Physics. If you compare the both boards, CI offers GCSE and A levels physics, while Adaxel, which is a subsidiary of publisher Pearson, also offer IGCSE physics and the full range of UK qualification including physics. They are both valued, reliable and admired organizations and acceptable across the globe. If you are seeking your career in physics, you can choose either IGCSE physics for Cambridge or Adaxel. If you compare the subject codes, so IGCSE physics offering 0625 and 0972, the difference between these two codes is only grading. 0625 is grading with like A, B, C and 0972 is grading from 9 to 1. In AS and A levels, the physics code for AS and A levels Cambridge, the physics code is 9702, whereas at Excel physics codes are different. They are taking 4PH0, 4PH1. In AS A levels, they are offering XPH11, YPH11. There are some unit scores also for at Excel. In terms of uh, difficulty level, majority of students and teacher consider CIE harder and tougher than Edexcel. Edexcel questions are usually simple, easy to solve, whereas Cambridge questions are a bit harder. Edexcel provides all the physics formula as well, whereas in Cambridge exam, no formula sheet was given. You need to appear in only two papers in Edexcel, whereas in Cambridge, you need to appear in three exams to pass physics. As long as support material is concerned, you will find more physics sites, physics videos, physics presentation, past papers, document based on Cambridge CIE as compared to Adexcel. But gradually people are also creating resources for Adexcel now. In terms of curriculum, after recent review of Cambridge physics curriculum for the session 2022-23, there is no major difference in the curriculum with Adexcel. But there are few major topics differences depending on the course a student picks. For example, in Adexcel physics, breaking distance, thinking distance are discussed, whereas Cambridge is focusing on motion graph more as compared to breaking and thinking distances. The two examinations are structured differently. CIE uses a core extended examination system which offers students the option of entering at either the foundation or higher level. The more difficult questions are given in the higher level papers. In case of a Dexel, there is only one set of question paper which means that both difficult and easy question will be in the same paper. In Cambridge, there are separate papers for MCQs, theory and practical skills, whereas at Excel assessed mixed skills in A levels at Excel evaluate topic wise units, for example, unit 1, unit 2, and unit 3 for AS level and 4, 5, 6 in A level. When we talk about units in at Excel, it means they have different topics and different units. Now, there is a question of making the right choice. Both CIE and Adexcel physics are highly regarded international academic qualifications that open opportunities to both admissions to institute of higher learning around the world as well as provide career opportunities in physics. You should take the examination that suits your individual aptitude and your priorities so that you are able to do well. If you ask for advice from those around you or those who have taken this examination, you will receive all kind of differing opinions. To get the correct guidance, you need to make a correct decision. Contact academic physics expert and experienced examiner. Their knowledge, wisdom and experience will give you guidance. You need to make the correct choice. So this is a small video about the differences and comparison between Adexel Pearson Physics and CIE Cambridge Physics. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for listening. See you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.